Hey, Houston Lifers, welcome back to a special Nutcracker Market edition of Houston Life. Yeah, every single year, this market draws top artisans from really around the entire country, which means you can find all kinds of beautiful works of art. Yeah, one of this year's featured artists is Jim Kane. Lauren Kelly is giving us a look at his watercolor paintings of iconic Texas landmarks. Well, here at the Nutcracker Market, there are all kinds of amazing finds, from clothes to jewelry to food, but there's one place you might not have stopped before. I can't wait to introduce you guys to this very, very talented watercolor artist right out of Houston. Jim Kane, your creations are magnificent. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. How long have you been watercolor painting? I have been painting watercolors for my whole life, almost 40 years as an adult. Uh, these paintings I've been doing for the last six years. And you know what I love so much about this as a Houstonian, as you a Houstonian as well, these are some significant spots that us as Houstonians can look back on and really take a trip down memory lane. Oh yeah, we like to keep the people walking down memory lane Absolutely. here. Absolutely. What are some of the favorites that, that people have, have moseyed on over to this year? I would say favorites are the Astrodome, Astro World. Oh, the Astro, the Be Someone Be sign. Be Someone. Yeah, absolutely. Some of the newer favorites are Look at are this, the Poison Antonio's Girl. Flying Pizza. We know that right down Hillcroft. We love the Garden Oak sign. Yep. So how many paintings do you think have you done over the years? On these particular paintings, I'm at about 250. And there's always new locations, right? Yeah. Always. My yeah. list gets longer than shorter. So you have different sizes of these paintings as well, All right? The originals are this size right okay. here. There are five by seven paintings. And then, yes, I sell prints that are eight by ten or five by seven. How long does it take you to do a watercolor painting like this? These particular ones average about two to four days. Oh, so it's like nothing to you. No, I can keep, <laughs> keep turning out new paintings. I have to point out one that just struck my heart. You guys know my dad was a bowler for so many years. The Palace, Palace Lane. Bowling Lanes. Do you remember that? You remember the bowling lane? Oh, absolutely. I spent a lot of time at the Palace Lanes. What was kind of the inspiration for you to get into the watercolor painting business? Uh, I've just been an artist my whole life. I've just enjoyed painting and I like architecture and this is my town. So I yeah. painted one of these paintings and one thing led to another and now I'm at 200 of these. 200. Well, Jim, I, I want you guys to come see this one. These are also a few more of my favorites. Uh, look at this. The Whataburger, classic. <laughs> you know when you see the Triangle Building, it's an old school, right? Yes. River Oaks, we love Houston. Of course, the Astrodome. I know I saw an Astro World here. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Astro but World. these are magnificent. We're well, so proud you. to show this off well, today. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very and much. And we are in booth 611, correct? 611, right. where the action is. All right, where the action is. You heard it. Jim Kane. thank you so much. Thank you. And have a great Nutcracker Market. Well, I appreciate it. We'll take people down memory lane. Absolutely. Come with us, you guys. Stare Contessa, back to you. Oh my gosh, Lauren Kelly, thank you so much. I am obsessed with Jim Kane. We have a bunch of his paintings. Again, you can find him at booth 611, and you will be so glad you did. Okay, he's phenomenal. Where all the action is. I heard him. Yeah.